The pond slider is a species of common, medium-sized, semi-aquatic turtle. There are three subspecies, the most recognizable of which is the red-eared slider Tees, elegans, which is popular in the pet trade and has been introduced to other parts of the world by people releasing it to the wild. Hatchling and juvenile pond sliders have a green upper shell carapace, yellow bottom shell plastron, and green and yellow stripes and markings on their skin. These patterns and colors in the skin and shell fade with age until the carapace is a muted olive green to orange brown or brown and the plastron is a dull yellow or darker. Some sliders become almost black with few visible markings. The carapace is oval with a bit of rounding and a central crest with knobs, but these features soften and fade with age, adults being smoother and flatter. For determining an adult slider sex, males typically have much longer front claws than adult females, while females usually have shorter, more slender tails than males. Their life span ranges from 20 to 50 years. History behind the name The origin of the name slider stems from the behavior of these turtles when startled. Groups of sliders, sometimes quite large, as well as many other types of less abundant freshwater turtles, are often seen basking and sunning on logs, branches and vegetation at or even well above the water's surface, but they readily and quickly scramble if they sense danger, shooting back in and darting away to safety underwater. History of species In the 1900s many of the pond sliders were captured for sale. In the 1950s millions of turtles were being farmed and shipped abroad as part of pet trade. The sales of these turtles increased when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was released. Distribution Pond sliders are native to the south-central and southeastern United States and northern Mexico. Invasive species Has been listed as one of the «top 100» world's worst invaders. These turtles often fight with native species for food, habitats, and other resources. Eventually they bully many native species out of basking sites. Basking being areas where there is sunlight and warmth for the species. When basking it is common that pond sliders will bask on birds' nests, therefore killing the eggs. They also prey on young birds. Turtles that were raised in captivity can develop diseases that are unfamiliar to native species, which can be harmful. Turtles raised in captivity are often released because they become too much to handle or grow bigger than expected. It's not uncommon that pond sliders will also run away. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conservation efforts. Conservationists have warned owners of turtles to not release them into the wild. There are also many states that have passed legislation to control the possession and release of pond sliders. There are two states that have completely banned the sale of these turtles. <inaudible> Subspecies Trachemys scripta scripta, yellow-bellied slider Trachemys scripta elegans, red-eared slider Trachemys scripta trusti, Cumberland slider hybridization between yellow bellied and red eared sliders is not uncommon where the ranges of the two subspecies overlap. 